Good news, this is going to be our last video on um, for this forces unit. I think that's fun. So um, we're going to look at something that's just, it's actually a little bit simpler to do. Let's say we have a car and this car is going to be a box on wheels. Driving down the road and initial okay, and it has an initial velocity of v0, but that's the direction that the car is moving and on that car We're going to have a resistive force uh, force equals negative kV so Some of the things that we're going to ask about the car um, one if At time equals zero the velocity is equal to v0 um, oops sorry what is the acceleration of the car when time is zero okay it's a pretty straightforward question um, some of my forces at any point is going to be the mass times the acceleration and that's going to be well, we've got the weight of the car we've got the normal force but there's nothing pushing the car forward um, it's going to be ma equals negative kv so when time is zero it's a negative k times v0. That's the velocity that we have. So we're going to start off because we're moving with a velocity of negative kv0 over m. <clears throat> now, as time goes on, the velocity is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So the acceleration is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller until we get zero. But the acceleration equals zero when velocity equals zero. This is different than something falling through the air with a terminal velocity. This object's terminal velocity is zero. It's going to stop, okay? So the car's gonna slow down and stop because of drag. It's just not gonna do so in a linear way. So the next thing that we wanna know, find velocity as a function of time. So, we start off the same way we did up here. All right, we're going to find our velocity as a function of time. We're going to do what we've done before. Start off with Newton's second law. MA equals negative K times V. V changes, acceleration changes. They depend on each other. So we could write it that way, which is a differential equation, or we could write it this way. Both of these are acceptable differential equations um, for, for the velocity of the object. Now, we want to get it in terms of time, so we're going to have to separate our variables. That gives me dv over v. It's much easier because everything's being multiplied. And I've got negative k over m uh, times dt. And with this, we're going to do what we've been doing, which is uh, integrate both sides. So we're going to integrate here and we're going to integrate here. The reason I'm going in between these two is because k over m is is constant. So we're going to integrate dt from 0 to t and we're going to integrate dv and this is going to be a little different than what we've done before but when time is 0 my velocity is not 0 it's the initial velocity. So we're going to go from the initial velocity to some final velocity. It's the velocity I have at the beginning and the velocity I may have at the end. That's what these limits are going to have to be. So, we're just moving up here. We have the integral from v0 to v dv over v. And that's equal to negative k over m times the integral of dt from 0 to some later time t. So this is going to be the natural log of oops. This is going to be the natural log of v from v0 to v, and that's equal to negative k times t 
over n. So, huh. sorry, I looked off parentheses there. So, um, we plug in our limits. So it's going to be our final value, natural log of b minus the natural log of b0, and that's going to be equal to negative kt over n. And we have now the natural log of b over v0 equals negative kt over m. We're going to do my favorite part. Make each side the exponent of e. And so what we're going to get, we're running out a little bit of space, but we have v over v0 equals e to the negative kt over m. Solve that for v. And we got v0 times e to the negative kt over m. This is a little bit different than what we've done before, uh, but the algebra at the end is easier. This is just what happens when we start off with an initial velocity. It's going to change our limits and it's going to change the way we do things. So, the last video that we're going to have over this drag stuff. Um, I hope it's helpful.